Now let's search for those batteries. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> Look at that. If I do remember something about this game, I'm not going to spoil uh, it for you guys, of course, if you haven't seen it. Was that just the one battery we picked up? Is this just one battery? We just can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Haley, really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Yeah, kids are she's pretty resi resilient. It takes so. toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is yeah, gone. Yeah, that too. Kids are resilient, but you don't actually know what's happening inside, uh, what develops over time. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How yeah. about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Duck is definitely in shock. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Let's just be honest. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah. They're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I, I think no one really knows what kind of decision you would make when something Trying like that happens. Go. Let's console him. I think Kenny and I are becoming fast friends. <laughs> Which is good. We could use some friends. Uh, in a situation like this. But yeah, I really like to take the honest approach. Um, I think a lot of people will, will try to cover up their emotions or feelings or will do what most shows and series show you what you could do. Uh, but I like to be honest. I think honesty will get you the furthest. So, were they alive for a little bit in here? This family? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Yeah, that's awful. So he was in Atlanta, uh, I guess it started a little bit earlier here in Macon because, um, yeah, everything is already messed up over here. This door leads to the back alley. So this is the way we can get outside and maybe get the keys from the employee. First aid kit, that's nice. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Huh. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks 
like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Hmm. There's a photo over there. Take it. Oh, it's probably the last picture he has of his family. Find anything? Hmm. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Oh, she knows. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. So, okay, so that's that what he was charged Maybe with. you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. So his wife cheated on him. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names oh, for a reason. Oh, I did tell uh, Kenny, right? Oh, well. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. I'm not going to be that distressful. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna be the level-headed one between all these people who are just really panicky and distrustful. I like to think that Lee is a good guy. And yeah, it's really hard to make these decisions so quickly. You don't really have time to consider what your previous answers were or uh, yeah, don't have time to think at all. <laughs> Makes for interesting gameplay though. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Now was it's gonna be your weapon, I guess? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Better get this door clear, huh? <laughs> Can I help? Two times, really. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? None anymore. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and nice my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't smart. answer my question. <laughs> She's right, very smart. Look further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. 
This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. <gasps> I like Clementine. It's cool. Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Well, that was the first thing did right. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. No, oh, did I put it back now? Luckily, no. there's nothing I need in here. Thought there was some uh, something else right beside this, but I guess that's the same. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Boy, should we tell her? Should we tell her? Lee? I I think you should dose your information with kids, but I asked you a question. Okay, Clementine, okay, I'm gonna tell her. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Um, what's this? Let's have a look at that finger. Yeah. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Seems like a pretty bad cut. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. So far, I'm getting really attached to a few characters already, like Clementine, of course, um, Carly, I really like, and it uh, seems like we have a pretty good bond with Kenny. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And let's try to keep him alive, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, never know how that works have out. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, let's do that. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can All right. Can you do that more? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm of course. Try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Yeah, so... I th oh, there's a drawer. Remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Why would we need that, actually? Oh, of course, want to watch the news, right? That's what I figured. <laughs> of course. Let's get the batteries back to Carly. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Let's see if we got the two we? batteries or we have to find another yeah. one. You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh boy. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. So did he do it or didn't he? Let's uh, head back to the others. So his wife was sleeping with a senator um, and he was charged with killing him. But we don't know to what extent that is true, right? So, I'm gonna keep an open mind for now. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. Oh, That's I gave her the bar. Really sweet. I don't wanted to give it to the kids. Oh well. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn. There you go. And, uh, Jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. 
What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Uh. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, I kind of feel like we did everything down here. Can we check this out? Uh, except for the batteries, of course. Let's see, we have a remote batteries, a picture. Oh, we still have the bar? I don't know what we gave to Lily. Do we have bars for everyone? I'm gonna give it to it's Clementine. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Of course. I'm gonna take care of Clementine. The pills are in there. Yeah, I know. So we can go this way. What was this? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hmm. Ah, here you are. This battery should fit the radio. It's just one. Great, thanks. So there has to be another one out here. Guess I have to look around a little bit better. Right. It's kind of hard with the camera angle and all. You can get, really get a good overview of the area. Is that a battery? What was that? Hmm. No idea what I just picked up. It's another bar. That was, oh, it was for her. I want to find another we battery. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. Can go back that way. There's nothing in here. There it is. All right. So I'll go back around this way. And here's another one. Should be able to get up to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Let's try again, this time with the batteries in. <laughs> Nothing. Antenna out. Let's see. <laughs> They're in the wrong way. Turn them around. Oh, no. Wanted to close the lid. Let's try that again. Man, she really doesn't know anything about batteries or... Let's say, what if she had to do something more difficult than handle batteries? It's funny. There we go. You fixed it. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. So, some stuff is going down. 
right now over there. Boy, and that's her station, right? So. Hey, Connie. Oh, you didn't that ask this guy question. Saved you. Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Mm, she kind of likes him, huh? That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. So she noticed my concern. Let's give her a Here, bar. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. So let's check in once more with, um, Kenny. Because I think we can give them a bar as well. Was it this way? Trying See to get if some I rest have on. one left. How can I with those things? Oh no, out there's there. nothing in my inventory anymore except for a picture and a remote. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. <gasps> you got it. I think it's so good how they keep saying different things when you talk to them multiple times. And I think that's really strong for a game like this. Alright, I think it's time to head out. I think we got everything. Oh, keep forgetting. Can't go this way. Uh, there's nothing else we could do with Doug, no. Yeah, I guess that's it. Hey there. How do you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Alright, heading out. Going to save blood. Get down! At least she has a gun. Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! <laughs> of course it's Glenn. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Glenn is definitely one of my favorite characters in the show. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. I was just about to say, what if, what if it was let's you? Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Getting a nice overview of the area. It's good. I like that. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. by that arm. 
RB. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. Let's do it. Nope. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gone, and we can't use that much. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Yeah, I guess we can't do anything right here. I really don't want to go this way. Nope, 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 nope. This is not the right call. Let's go back. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that There's room. There's two things over here. They really yeah. want to get into that room. They say the same. It's kind of weird. One option left. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. They can saw me. We're fucked. Ah, no! 